Hi, and thanks for logging on to the Daily Dvar Halacha. And here's a brand new Halacha for you. And it's for Tuesday, 21st day of November, which is the third day of Kislev. Here we go. We're continuing on in our uh, unit about shoes and all the Halachas about shoes in Judaism. So here we go. On Shabbos, if a little child wants to wear shoes that have little uh, bells on them, that's not considered much of a problem. The little, little child can walk around with those little bell things on his shoes and it won't be much of a problem. More of a problem is those kids who have sneakers that light up every time they take a step. Wearing those on Shabbos is a bit of an issue and you may want to speak to your rabbi before allowing that. That's um, Do speak to your rabbi about that depending on the shoes and the kid and the age and everything, whether it's appropriate to be wearing those light-up sneakers on Shabbos. If you want to walk around on snow or mud, and there are kinds of designs at the bottoms of our shoes, and the design is going to be pressed right into the mud or snow, that's not considered a problem of writing, and you could walk on snow or mud on Shabbos. Um, you can tie a, a once-over a knot once over and a bow on your shoes on Shabbos, just plan to make sure that that's not for the whole 24 hours of 25 hours of Shabbos because you're not allowed to tie a permanent knot on Shabbos. If it's temporary, then it's considered totally okay. Um, if you tie them on Friday night, uh, then you don't want to have tied a permanent knot uh, for Shabbos. So if you tie your shoes on a Friday night, and you want to take them off Friday night, don't just slip out of them and slip back into them later because then you really may have that knot last all Shabbos and you don't want to have a permanent knot on Shabbos. So do untie them and that helps make your knot be not permanent. I hope that made sense to you. It'll make your knot be not considered permanent and that's the way you want it so that you won't be guilty of tying a, a full knot on Shabbos. Double knot would for sure be a problem. Don't tie double knots on Shabbos. That's a malacha. That's work. You're not allowed to do it. Um, if a kid's shoes, a little kid's shoes were double knotted and uh, you can't get them off unless you untie them and he does need to go to sleep on Friday night. So there is leniency there. You're allowed to untie that, uh, but try not to get into that mix up if possible. Um, you can't insert shoelaces into shoes on Shabbos and that's because it can be a problem of tikkun mana, of fixing those shoes, they're unusable pretty much without shoelaces. Some post are more lenient about it because they say that our shoelace holes in our shoes are kind of big and therefore you're not really doing a very, very fully permanent insertion of the shoelaces. Some are lenient, some are strict. So if you're in a jam and you really have to get shoelaces into your shoe, you have enough rabbis who are lenient about it and you could rely on them. But in general, uh, wherever possible, it's probably best to try not to insert shoelaces into your shoes on Shabbos. Thanks for logging on and log on again tomorrow for more. Bye-bye.